Today's video tutorial is going to be on sit, stay, and come. And there's two reasons why I believe it's so important to teach our dogs these as commands rather than something that they're familiar with. Number one is we're going to have a verbal control over our dog. We can be inside the house, we can go to the park, we can be in our front yard. We're not always going to have that physical attachment, but we're always going to have that verbal control where we say it one time and our dog is going to look at us and go, okay, no problem. The second reason is once you go through these few weeks of training on your own with your dog, you're going to create this bond that you've never had before. Now through this bond, now we can, we can advance this training to uh, trick training or we can go to uh, agility training or anything like that, but you always need the base first. I'm sure everybody's seen the owner that goes to the dog, Lucy, sit, sit Lucy, sit down, sit right now, sit, good girl, good girl. It's not, it's not a bad thing that you do that, but it's just the dog doesn't understand it as a command. When they're done whatever they're doing, they're going to do it for you, but they're just familiar with the word. Now you take that same dog and you put them in the middle of the road and the owner needs them to come to him. The owner's going to be, Lucy, come here. Lucy, come here. Come here. Here now. Come, Lucy. Lucy, will you come here? And at the end, they start pleading with the dog. Will you please come to me rather than come to me now? You know, it's not a command. That's, that's an area where, you know, the dog needs to come to you right away, you know, for the dog's benefit. You know, there could be a car coming or we could need the dog right away. So there's many reasons why you need to teach your dog sit, stare, come as commands. So watch this video and you're going to see the final outcome. So this is the last test you can do with your dogs once they understand everything in the house and in confined areas. This is going to be your last test. So if you guys need any comments or you have any questions, please leave them, leave them down below and like and share the page. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over some sit, stay, and come. Because I know I need to get rid of my dog's mental energy. I know I have to work them for today. Uh, so instead of taking them on a long walk, we're going to do something else. Uh, I'm outside just because I need more room. Uh, but you can do this inside. And this is just going to be the final outcome of the sit, stay, and come. A lot of people give up early on in the first week or two because their dog, they get it every, you know, every other time. The human kind of gives up on them and you know that's the end of it. And the dog becomes familiar with it, but it's not a command. So this is when you stick to it and you continue to test them, this is the final product. So I'm gonna go the whole way to the end of the road. So it should be uh, uh, probably close to two football fields uh, away. And I'm gonna ask just Trigger and Thurman. Gunner's 10 years old, he's, uh, he's earned his stripes, he doesn't have to do anything, he's just gonna come with me. Um, let me get him closer. Kim, is that? Good boy, still, stay. All right, so I'm gonna take Gunner and I will meet you guys down there. So it's really important to note that right now I'm on the road, uh, but we're in my, my neighborhood and we're at the cul-de-sac. So nobody, no cars are gonna go flying by. My neighbors always see me out here with the dogs doing things. Um, oh, Gunner's gonna go, go home. So we're gonna take him home. This is actually be perfect. So I get to take him home while my dogs are sitting and staying in the cul-de-sac. So this will work out really well. All right, so I'm on my way back from the walk. They're at the, the cul-de-sac right there. Uh, just dropped off Gunner. He was uh, on the way back home. He just started heading towards home. So I said, all right, put you in the house. It'll be another good test for the, for the other two to sit back and stay all the way back in that cul-de-sac there. But it's really important to note. So I'm on the road here. Um, but this is my neighborhood. It's a controlled environment in, in the way that it's a cul-de-sac. There's not very many cars that come through, and the cars that do come through come through slow, especially when they see me, because they know I'm going to be outside with the dogs the whole time. You're going to start in, a, in an area where you have complete control, whether it's a backyard, whether it's... Let me make sure they're still there. Perfect. It's a backyard, or whether it's... Uh, your living room or somewhere where it's confined and then once you start to get it then you're going to move into an area where your front yard or the park still an area where you have control but they're not enclosed in and then finally the final this is the final product where they're going to be all the way there we can go wherever we want at this point and it's freezing out and that plays a huge it's a lot easier when it's warmer out and the dogs really don't want to move anyways now it's cold they want to move um, so always test them always make it harder until eventually everything's a piece of cake and you can do it wherever you want so I'm going to flip this video around and we're going to get them coming to me. So they're still there. I'm going to call them right now. Kim, come! <sighs> now Thurman's going to be triggered by half a mile. That's all right. Remember, it doesn't matter. If you have a big dog, Trigger can only keep his running. Oh, nice. My neighbor came out. Awesome. 
that's not my neighbor. It's just somebody working on the house right there. You can see the dogs looked over. I go, oh my God, there's a guy right there, but they keep coming. I can only imagine what that guy was thinking. That's awesome. That worked out perfect. Uh, but it doesn't matter the, the speed of the dog that comes to you. You want them to come as fast as they can. But for people who have bigger dogs, they're gonna, they can only keep up that pace for so long. So here comes Thurman. He's looking back. Good boy, Bob. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Zet. Good boy. Still. We're gonna make him sit with us real quick. Man, come on, old man. You